All right, welcome back to the channel. So today we have some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero gameplay. So this is the full game. This is from Rhyme Style. So huge shout out to Rhyme. He has been going crazy. Now, obviously he got the chance to play the full game and he's going to be putting out a lot of content. So definitely check him out in the description below. All that good stuff. But of course, if you're enjoying my content as well and just my commentary and all that good stuff. So make sure to drop a like on this video. Comment down below who you plan on maining in this game. And of course, subscribe to the channel. So let's get straight into this. Goku is crazy, like absolutely crazy. And there's a part in this video that you're going to see that I was shocked about. So when that happens, we'll talk about it. But right now, Goku is pretty fast. You can see how his combos are. He's not going to be. I don't think he's faster than Kid Buu or like Birder, like I've been saying in like hits video that I previously just showed. Um, but basically for this, he can be really, really insane for sure. The clash did just go off. That was really nice. Uh, and a little vanish did happen. Now he's going into, I guess that might be his buff right there. I don't know what it's called though. I didn't see the move set. Uh, but I like the I like the tournament of power. This looks really nice. The colors are very vibrant, that's for sure. And he went for a rush attack, but unfortunately did not connect. But now having uh, Khalifla and Kale's fusion, which is now Kefla, which is crazy to have in this game too. I I'm just excited to play this game so much. And the rush attack did not work again. And now he just, ooh, okay, that connect, that was a really good way to actually attack. Nice little perfect block. He's trying to fly away, but that did not work. Uh, Kefla just kind of grabbed him there. And I did a perfect block again, okay. Now I I'm trying to really dissect the gameplay as well, trying to see the small things that have been happening. Um, so I'm trying to notice it. I'll be a little quiet this time around. Um, just to notice like the small things. So he's going for his ult and the ult does connect. Look at that. That looks amazing. Oh, the perfect. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. So one thing I do like, ah, uh, you guys probably didn't notice it, but, um, when you guys have more than five skill count, the aura is the number of the skill count actually has an aura around it which is really cool to me oh look at that the aura is really nice here oh hits really getting the hands that's crazy Ooh, nice little key blast right there oh what how did he get behind there i love ui goku is that mui goku not yet mui goku's aura looks so fire it like it just stays around him the whole time nice vanishing between both of them actually He's gonna power up. Oh no, he's going straight for a rush attack. Oh, that's not a rush attack. That's like a instant transmission kind of attack. Oh, nice little sidestep from hit with the combos. Okay, so nice. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Nice, so he did that. Hmm, I'm trying to notice something specific about these characters, but... Oh, whoa, what was that? He just like straight up walked up to him quickly. Oh, that's that's super dope. That was fire. Okay, you see the aura around the six next to Goku's skill count? That, I actually like that they did that. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's just unique. Nothing crazy about it. Okay, he was just punching air right there. Nice kick into the ult. Right? Yep, right into the Oh my goodness. This man is really doing it. The full Kamehameha. And that ends off hit right there, that's for sure. So Goku is pretty quick. I can see that for sure. Um, he's he's slightly faster than hit. That's what it seems like. Oh, he's going against Kaba. Nice. Okay, so he has a full power skill move to get him to sparking mode. Just straight comboing Kaba. Kaba literally can't do anything there. I don't know how that dropped. Maybe he got... Oh, nice. He got right behind him with the Dragon Home. And oh, he really tried that. And to the grab. I love the destruction on this map. It's really nice. The one thing I did notice is that you can't destroy the middle of the map. The little pole that's there, you can't destroy that. So that's a good thing to know. Um, I mean, that's one of the strongest parts of the, the map. So even in the show, you couldn't really destroy that. So I think that's a good touch to the game for sure. Nice combo. Nice little um, combo into the little perfect block. Oh, look at that. He hit the pole and it just like kind of destroyed it a little bit. Now, Kaba's pretty much done for right here. If the Kamehameha... Oh, he deflected that Kamehameha. That's nice. Oh. Ryan pressed uh, pause on accident, and he hits the Kamehameha. 
So nice. That is the first match with Ultra Instinct Goku. Let's check out some more Ultra Instinct Goku and MUI, by the way. This is this is both. He has Sign and MUI in here. Oh my goodness. The aura is the best thing in this game. Like, if you guys agree, let me know in the comments below because like the aura is just so fire. I love the intro here. Super nice. They definitely did good with this. And then God Topo. I don't think we've seen anything with him at all. So it's nice to see this. I'm excited. Oh, look at his chest. Like his little stomach, like the, it kind of glowed up. That's pretty nice. That's a good touch to uh, God Topo for sure. Oh, wow. Man's vanishing left and right. He steps in and throws his hand out like a dart. That's crazy. All these vanishings going on. Goku, I thought you were supposed to be stopping this. Oh, okay, that's nice. He has the same move as a uh, Frieza. That's funny. Nice little buff right there. And the Sonic Sway comes along. Oh boy. God Topo's quick too. Oh, I would love to see Evolution Blue versus God Topo. That'd be pretty cool. Evolution Blue is of course a power up, not a transformation in this game. So a lot of people did have complaints on that, but I think it kind of fits the game in my opinion. So. We don't need uh, more Vegetas, you know. We have a lot of Gokus already, so there's that. Are we going to MUI? Yes, we are. Look at this. Beautiful transformation. Oh, he brought a Jiren. Okay. This kind of makes sense now. This fight makes sense. Oh, they both literally just punched each other, and then Jiren actually won that. Nice little perfect block. Vanishing right there. Left and right. Another vanish into the grab. Wow. Jiren is not playing around, that's for sure. Okay, so Jiren... Oh, what was that? That camera angle just threw it off completely. Nice grab again. Yeah, you gotta sidestep that for sure. So, I will say Rhyme definitely got comfortable with the game. Um, I can definitely see how he is getting used to the combat. He's getting used to the controls. And I mean, he's most likely playing... Yeah, he's playing a classic control. So, he knows the Tenkaichi feeling. It kind of just sits, sits well for him. And is this going to hit? No, it does not. So I, that's the one thing I'm not a fan of, even in my times of playing the game. Okay, he's re he's retrying. I wonder why he was retrying for that. Oh, I love how they go straight back into it. That's nice. Uh, but yeah, the rush attacks are a little weird. I'm not a huge fan of them either. And this has been like that since the demo. It kind of just goes through and then like it gets stuck for some reason. You can't do anything about it. So maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a bad thing. I'm not 100% sure. So going straight into the combat already. Now he's really got him in the ropes. Mmm. That's crazy. God Topo really went for that. Ooh, that was a good grab. Oh, that's dope. I love that grab, actually. And then look at the aura for Goku. Like I said, the aura is the biggest thing to me. I keep talking about it because th this game is just beautiful. Like, they gave the best thing in this game the aura like they went crazy with it oh he went with the kamehameha right there right straight across that's crazy did they even do damage oh is this gonna hit he's right there point blank yes it does there he goes and we all know where this is from beautiful beautiful oh how did god topo literally just come back sh into that that's kind of crazy oh nice look counter into the grab too he has the same kind of grab style as uh broly but broly they did change broly's up a little bit so at least that's a good thing nice counter right there the z counter actually oh okay god top was really trying to throw hands right now but luckily oh the blocks did not do anything right there and then he hits the straight super and then he goes into mui yep gotta love seeing mui mui really is good Oh, and then he went to Dispo. Oh, we okay. I don't know if I've seen Dispo enough, so I'm curious how fast he is. This will kind of answer some questions that a lot of people ask me. Oh, look at the damage to the, the pole thing again. Oh, is it going to hit? Nah. The angle was off. So one thing is angles, and that was definitely off. Let's see. Come on. I want to I wanna see some Dispo, D Dispo from his side. Come on. Let's see. He's going full power? Yep. Supreme Kamehameha is going to come along, hopefully. Yep. He's going for Supreme Kamehameha. And it hits. Yep. 
Might be a little hard to dodge it. You do have the chance to actually dodge that. You can banish out of it. So there is that. You just have to be really good at it. You have to time it. But besides that, it is possible. So he got rid of Dispo. And now God Topple's back. Now let's see what God Topple's going to do here. He's just standing there. Oh, he goes straight for the super. But Goku did, of course, dodge that with the Dragon Homing. Oh, okay, that's disrespectful. Going straight into the power. I mean, I've done that too, where you power up right in front of them. But then he went into a Kamehameha right after. So I'm curious how how Ryan's gonna handle this right here. He's gonna go full power again. Like he really wants to pull off the Supreme Kamehameha again. It's the, probably the best thing to do, definitely, when the match is almost over. So he's about to pull it off right here. Yep, right there. Hands off Topo. Where was Topo looking? It looked like he was looking up. And that's the end of this match for sure. I think Jiren is left actually. Jiren's still alive right now. So let's see what, what yeah, yeah, okay. So Jiren still has four health bars, okay. Okay, so Jiren starts off with four health bars. That That is another thing I just noticed. I don't know if I noticed God Topo having four or not, but that's fine. Uh, he probably does, to be honest. He probably does deserve it because he has the power of the destruction, so. And then to the Supreme Kamehameha again. Wow, this man Rhyme loves showing off the ultimates and supers. He's, he's it's good. It's definitely good to show off. Huge shout out to him. Me personally, I like to show them off, but I also like to show off the combat a lot more. Uh, so I did do that ma mainly on my videos whenever I got, I got the chance to play the game. Nice little perfect block right there. All this vanishing. This is Dragon Ball. This is 100% Dragon Ball. Oh, with the Sonic's way. The match is almost over, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, and, you know, at the end of the day, we have two weeks left until the game comes out. So there's going to be more content coming on this channel and more content just in general on YouTube. So definitely just keep watching if you guys are enjoying it. Drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below what you guys think of the game. Uh, definitely let me know what you guys are hype about, which what you guys are annoyed about. Uh, I'm just curious on what everyone's thinking about this game because, for me, I'm excited in general. Uh, and yeah, we're just going to be continuing on with the content and just playing this game almost every day, honestly.